makeup to create this vibrant and iridescent peacock bird look. I think this look is so beautiful and very unique. So if you guys want to know how to get this Halloween look that I have here, please continue watching and I'll show you how step by step. To start this look, you're going to want to prime your skin with something that will keep you hydrated and dewy under your foundation because today we're going to be applying a lot of powders. So here I'm using the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, which is my favorite primer at the moment. I just love it so much. And for foundation, I'm going to use a matte and full coverage foundation, and this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is one of my favorite foundations because obviously it has an amazing applicator and it also stays put all day long. So if you're going to a Halloween party, this will last the whole night and keep you looking really matte. I'm just blending out with a brush for an even and smooth finish. For concealer, grab your favorite concealer, and today I'm using my favorite. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just applying this right under my eyes. I don't need to use too much of this because it is super full coverage, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm just going to conceal like I normally would and blend out using the same brush I use for my foundation. To make sure everything stays in place, I'm going to set under my eyes using a translucent powder and then taking a bit more of that powder, I'm going to set my entire face. Setting your entire face will keep your skin looking matte but also keep it bulletproof for the entire day or night. And with all of the other face makeup we will be applying today, you don't want your foundation to move around so just make sure that you set your whole face. For brows, I really wanted some metallic blue brows, so I'm using a water-activated paint by Mayron, and it's from the Brilliant Palette. This is safe to use on brows and also all over your face. You can control the consistency of this product with water, so you can make it as watery or as creamy as you want. And for the brows, I'm keeping it pretty creamy, so it has the consistency of a dip brow pomade. So now for the eyes, we're going to be playing with a lot of colors today, so make sure you prime those lids first. And the first shade we're laying down in the inner corner is Limelight by Makeup Geek, and this is a foiled lime green shadow. It's so beautiful, and as I was laying this color down, I was also looking at my costume as a reference, so my eyeshadow would really complement it, and this has such a beautiful luminosity to it. It's just so gorgeous, and it did go with my costume really well, because there is some lime green shades in the peacock bird's feathers, so this went perfectly. Next I'm going to press a medium blue shade from the BH palette and I'm pressing this into the lid and feathering this up into the eyebrow back towards my hairline. I wanted to blow this color out into a mask shape so I just kept blending the blue upward. To get a more foiled blue shade I picked up the shade Pegasus by Make It Geek and I packed this right on top and this is also a foiled shadow so it gives a beautiful sheen. So now I'm going to take a dark green from the BH palette and put this right into the outer V area, feathering this upwards towards my hairline, just like I did with the blue shade from earlier. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to use a purple shade called Caitlyn Rose. This is by Makeup Geek as well. And this is another foiled eyeshadow. I'm just going to buff that into the lower lash line and follow this upward along the green. To deepen the outer V, I used the shade Houdini by Makeup Geek, and this shade reminds me so much of a peacock. It's also another foiled eyeshadow and it has a lot of green and blues and a little bit of gold in it so it really looks so much like a peacock. It's so gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorite shades by Makeup Geek. For the forehead area, I'm using the shade Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek and this is a very yellow gold. It reminded me a lot of the golden shades the peacock bird has in its feathers. So I just buffed this into the forehead area, shooting back towards my hairline into that mask shape. I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner today using the Maybelline Gel Liner in Black and I'm just creating a very dramatic wing first and then filling in the waterline with this. I wanted to create the look of feathers on the outer corner of my eye so I took the Too Faced sketch marker and just drew some random lines that look like feathers around the corners of my eye. This doesn't have to be perfect but make them sharp and thin, kind of like how a feather would look. I also created a very bird-like inner corner teardrop area by bringing the eyeliner down farther than I normally would into a point and this really made my eyes look very bird-like so if you take this extra step it will really transform your eyes. For lashes I use the Lily Lashes in Gabby and they actually have a hint of blue at the tips so it adds some color to the look and now I'm just adding in some feathery liner strokes to the corners of my eyes. I added a lot more to make it look very dramatic. And for those lower lashes, I use a blue mascara, and this is by NYX in the shade Sapphire. For the part that I love the most, I picked up some rhinestones from Michaels, and now I'm just applying them to the outer corners of my face, 
to frame my eyes and I'm just using liquid latex to stick them on. But you can also use eyelash adhesive. I think that's probably more common for you guys to own. It will work the exact same way I have used it with eyelash adhesive before and it stays on just as good. I also added two small stones to the inner corners of my eyes for some more definition and character that of a peacock and I really like the way those inner corner stones look. For the cheekbones and contour, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer into the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, and also my jawline. I also think an emerald green or a blue for a contour would look really, really beautiful as well, but I just went with the bronze because I really wanted the eyes to be the main focus, but if you did go with a green or blue, I do think that would look really, really stunning. For blush, I'm using a blush by Too Faced, and this is a very shimmery and natural blush. I love it for this look because it makes you look very glowy, and it almost gives you a natural tan. And the name of this blush is the Sweethearts Blush in Peach Beach. It's one of my favorites, and it's just a very nice neutral shimmer shade. I'm going to be highlighting my nose today with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter in King Tut. This is a very nice warm golden shade, but you could use your favorite highlighter that complements your skin tone and this will work just as well. So for lips, I wanted to do something that would match the eye makeup, so I first went in with the Ofra Cosmetics Duo Chrome Liquid Lipstick in Emerald City. And this looks so beautiful by itself, but I went over the top with a glitter lip today. And I use the Teal Glitter by NYX Cosmetics. This is the face and body glitter. It's perfect for lips because it's not too chunky. It's just the perfect lip glitter. It's so beautiful and shimmery. I feel like it really took this look to the next level. Moving on to the body, we are going to do some quick and easy body painting with the Mayron Brilliant Palette. This is the same metallic blue that I used on my eyebrows earlier. I'm just going to apply this to my body. I used a little bit less of water to make it more opaque and metallic, and this body paint is so gorgeous. If you are going to a Halloween party or if you're going out, your body is going to be glowing. And this would also look good as a base for the face as well. If you just wanted to be all metallic blue, that would look really beautiful as well. And for the contouring, I'm just going to contour my chest with a shimmery purple eyeshadow. And I like to set the blue area of my chest using a metallic blue eyeshadow from the BH palette. And lastly, put on that peacock bow tie and you are ready to go. I got this costume at Spirit of Halloween, if any of you are asking. They have this entire costume and the accessories there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Halloween makeup tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, because I've got some more looks coming for you this week. Leave me a comment down below of what you thought of my look, and be sure to share this video with friends looking for some Halloween ideas. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.